Hello everyone, my name is Miss Liz and welcome to a, another edition of The Life with Liz. Today I am going to showcase my small <laughs> but important collection of Letterer Exotic Skin Handbags. I have four of them. Now, to those of you not familiar with Letterer, they were, because I don't think they're in business any longer, essentially a direct competitor to Hermes. And when I say direct competitor, in some cases they actually copied Hermes designs, and Hermes even took them to court. This style in particular, that I'm focusing on now, is a style Letterer uh, copied from Hermes. Hermes dubbed this bag the Sac Malay bag. And it is really unique because this bag, I'll use the black one because it's already open. If you turn the bag to the side, you can see that down here it has a hidden secret jewelry case. It just slides right out. See? It's designed with these little cushions for you to put your ring or really anything of value can be hidden in here. And then once you have it secure, you just slide it back in place and it locks. And the only way somebody would know that it's there, kind of hard to do this with one hand, but that snaps. And the only way somebody would know it's there is if you open the inside of the bag and when you do that, if you can see inside, see over on the left-hand corner that little rectangular brass button? That is what you push to open the secret compartment down here. So this, which is done in lizard skin, isn't that a remarkable condition? And this, the same style bag done in crocodile. Um, and this bag, as you can see, was owned by Connie Francis. I got it at auction a couple of years ago. Um, it has the same thing. It's It's got the... Is it here? Or is it over here? Yeah, it's over here. Uh... It has the secret compartment, so let me try and open it up. Again, not easy to do with... Maybe I can't do it with one hand on this one. Or maybe this is the front. Yeah, this is the front. Okay, so you can see on the inside, again, there's that button, which I will push, and... Then the secret compartment is revealed. Which I don't think I can get out with one hand. But anyway, you get the idea. So these two bags are the same. This bag, which is huge, is actually supposed to be a travel bag. And this one is alligator. Now if you're wondering how to tell the difference between alligator and crocodile, if you look up close at the scales, you can see that um, they don't have any really identifying marks. Whereas on a crocodile bag, in the middle of the scales, I don't know if this will pick this up on my camera, but on the middle of the scales, they're little, they look like little dots. See? Those are actually hair follicles that the crocodile has. Um, and so that's how you tell crocodile skin from alligator. But anyway, back to this travel bag. It is just um, huge. Let's see if I can get open. Come on with one hand. Uh, okay, I did it. So, 
This is a really um, large cavernous bag. It was designed, it has these hinges that are supposed to keep it open, but because the bag is so old, it really won't do it any longer, but you can, you can kind of see. It's just a big cavernous bag. It has two elasticized uh, panels, and then when you close it, these little hinges go down, and then it's secure for uh, you to travel with. I think this bag measures 16 by 12. It's over 50 years old, as I think all of these pieces are, and it's in remarkable condition, as you can see. And then finally over here, this is the oldest of them all. This is a, this is very rare, a, another crocodile bag. This is an evening bag by Letterer that they did. And these are the hardest to come by. Um, and I'm guessing this is from the 40s, maybe the 1950s at the absolute earliest. It has a um, marcasite um, opening frame, or marcasite studded opening frame, and you open it up. I've got my <laughs> compact inside, and there it is. And I've used this bag actually many times to go to the opera and the symphony and that kind of thing. So, in fact, the handle broke at one point, and I had to take it and have it repaired, but they did a good job. So, this is a crocodile evening bag, which again you don't really see very often. So just a really quick video I wanted to make to show off these bags in my collection. I'm very pleased with these bags. I don't use them very often, but you just don't see quality and workmanship of this caliber any longer. So I wanted to share. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned because in the next few days I will be posting a video that I'm going to make a tribute to the late, great Ann Getty, who recently left us. And for that video, I will be appearing on camera for the first time in a long time. Looking forward to it. Thank you for watching.